My review, two years on of the MacBook Pro. Now, I know this isn't a business video, it's not really Amazon related, and you're probably thinking, Shami, where does this technology review even come from? Well, most people need to work on a laptop. You need a laptop for pretty much everything, including your businesses. So I thought, if you're looking to get an Apple Mac, was this worth it? And we're gonna find out now. I've, I've written up my notes on my computer, and I'm gonna tell you if I think it's worth it. Um, Look, if you're into a business videos and you don't wanna watch this by all means, but if you're thinking about replacing your computer or you're thinking about just um, one day replacing your computer or thinking about a new computer, I just said the same thing three times. I'm gonna tell you about my MacBook Pro um, 13 inch, two years on, is it still worth it? Does it still work? Have, do I need to replace it? So let's talk about speed. Speed wise, um, if this thing is charged up, it's on 6% at the moment, so it starts to lag. If this thing is charged up, it goes really fast. It's got the terabyte flash storage, so it's really, really good. I highly recommend that. It's got 32 gigs of RAM, I believe, um, which is also very, very good. I basically opted in for the the highest spec one because I just wanted it for video editing. I'll get to video editing in a minute. But in terms of just general speed for editing photos, general use of the computer, internet, that kind of stuff, if you have battery, it's great. If you're on like three or 4% or 5%, it starts to get laggy um, at like 2%, it really gets laggy and things start slowing down and you really should just plug it in. Um, but again, just try not to get to that. Programs wise, Premiere Pro Photoshop. Photoshop works a charm on this machine. Honestly, it's really powerful, it's super powerful. Premiere Pro on the other hand, I can edit 1080p footage, kind of okay, it's a bit laggy. Final Cut, I can also edit 1080p footage, it's kind of laggy. 4K, don't even bother, um, it, it's just so laggy, I find it so hard to edit 4K footage on this machine. Now, I know so many people who are into video editing who use this machine, I don't know how you guys do it, let me know in the comments if you're one of those people, because I wanna start using this on the go when I'm traveling to edit my videos, but I just, 4K just is lagging through Premiere Pro and I don't understand why, so it's just annoying that. Um, one thing that annoys me a lot is the lack of ports. The amount of times I need to make sure I've always got this bag with me with all my different ports in it. I find that infu like, it's so annoying. Just like I need to plug a USB in and I, oh, I can't because I left my USB adapter at home. Like it's only got USB-C ports and there still aren't that many things for that, for that, that use USB-C. So like, in terms of ports, yeah, it's really shocking. However, if you're buying a Mac nowadays, you're gonna have no ports anyway. So it's something you're just gonna have to live with. I'm sorry about that, like you can't do anything about that. The battery life, how's the battery life? Well, I say it's on 5%. It was on 75% when I started doing videos about two hours ago. It's been on, oh, I'll cut myself. It is um, being constantly on, the screen's on full brightness. So, um, the battery's not the best, but it, it will last me a couple of hours. It lasts me a solid six hours using it, like properly using it. And I don't mean watching movies and stuff, um, but I mean actually properly work and whatever I'm doing with it, six solid hours, and then just plug it in. Um, it's pretty good. The touch bar, that touch bar thing that I originally hated, I actually kind of got used to. I barely use it. I would prefer buttons, like for example, if I want to increase the volume, I've got to just do this and then this and then swipe. Or if I want to do something else, I've got to do this and this and then swipe. Like, Sometimes it's just nice to have physical buttons that you just like click. Um, the cool thing about the touch bar is whatever program you're on, the touch bar changes um, pretty much instantly. So if I'm on the internet, it will change to whatever, um, like the, the thing will have the, the internet like things on it. And then if I go to Photoshop, it will have the Photoshop things on it. If I'm on the desktop, it will have the desktop things on it. Um, so it's, it's, it's kind of cool. Um, I'm messing around with it now, I shouldn't be. Um, the touch bar is kind of cool, you'll get used to it, and when you get used to it, you'll be fine with it. Um, the overall review, um, if you're a video editor, I look, I personally wouldn't get this if I was a video editor, I would get something maybe a custom built laptop PC um, with like super powerful graphics, like that's why I've got my custom built um, PC at home, or it was in the office. Um, because it just was so much easier for me to edit 4K. If you're a photographer or an internet marketer, or let's say a photographer, get one of these. Um, this is a ridiculously good machine for a photographer. It's so powerful for, for a photographer. I can edit photos on the go so quickly. Maybe you want the bigger screen, but I like the small screen. Um, and if you're an internet marketer, you probably don't need something this good. Um, the only reason I got this is because I do photography, internet marketing, and video editing. So I wanted a really, really good machine. But you could probably go for a much lower spec, much cheaper one, um, and you'll be just as happy. Maybe even that, the notebook thing, the air, whatever they call it, um, you should get one of those. I'm not a techie. Well, I am a techie, but I don't really know all the terms. 
um, but compared to PC, um, my PC is faster than this because it's just so much more powerful. It's got a much more powerful graphics card, a much more powerful processor, all of that stuff. But Windows as an operating system is crap. It's so bad. I mean, you might like it and I don't want to offend anyone. I absolutely hate it. I really, really hate it. Um, I think Apple is just so much smoother, so much more user-friendly. Love it. It looks nicer. It feels nicer. It's easy to use and it's better. It's just better. Um, but yeah, so look, that is my very, very simple review. Two years on with my MacBook Pro. I'm very, very happy with it. I'm very happy I bought it. It's done me so well. Um, and honestly, it's just, it's been an absolute treat to have. And if, I rec like, like if I'm recommending it, I 100% recommend it. If you have any questions about it, let me know in the comments. Um, like I said, I know this isn't a business video, but if you wanna like this video, appreciate it a lot. If you wanna subscribe, Appreciate that a lot as well. Every so often I'll do a random video like this or like something else, uh, a travel or something. So get used to it, it's gonna be here. And uh, and yeah, in terms of like a computer, it's a great machine, really, really, really good. Highly recommend it. I think it's great. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you like this video. Um, the next video will be back to business, I hope. I plan to be, so don't worry. And uh, yes, subscribe, click the bell notification so you know when I upload a new video. That way you know when the next video comes out and I will see you there. But don't forget to like the video. If you haven't already liked it, click the like button. Thanks so much.